we want to increase food security in Tajikistan, it is extremely important to increase the capacities and the capabilities of women. At the moment, almost 20 to 25 percent of farms are run and managed exclusively by women. And it's important that they uh, are able to access information, they're able to understand how to participate in these institutions, where to buy seeds, where to go to, to provide information, to get information on different types of agricultural activities. So directly enhancing the capacities of women is going to be extremely important. M migration is wise spread in Tajikistan. Uh, from our work, uh, we notice that there is as much as 47% of the household in South Tajikistan, in the Katran province, who have at least one family member uh, which is not there because simply they migrated away. So these migrants are male migrants, uh, moving from rural areas to foreign countries, especially Russia. And that means that women are left behind, and those are permanent migration. They won't come back for one season or the other. So women are already the ones which are left behind, and they have to deal with the agricultural uh, tasks. So here's the challenges really for these women who, who are left alone and behind. In the work we conducted with this impact evaluation, we tried to understand uh, how the women which are left behind deal with all the agricultural activities which had the end fall in their in their shoulders. Uh, what we see is different scenarios depending on the type of activities. For the mechanized activities, the capital intensive inten activities like ploughing or breaking up the soil, in migrant households, women do not take uh, this task. What's happened is that they have to hire uh, laborers, male laborers, for doing that. So really clearly they do not replace uh, male when those are, are not there. Uh, similarly, for um, managerial tasks as buying the inputs, sending the address, etc., well, they are not really replacing the men in these type of um, yes management activities. On the contrary, what's happened for labor-intensive ac activities like weeding, uh, harvesting cotton, uh, those are really uh, female-dominated activities. And what we see in our work is that when a household have a migrant, well, it's even more the case that women will have to deal with these activities. So at the end, women replace men in these labor-intensive activities, but only in those. What our research finds is that while information on water governance or uh, uh, agricultural extension or any other types of technical information diffuses from farmer to farmer, it's usually confined to diffusing from male lead farmers to other male farmers. Information does not spread from male farmers to other female farmers. So in programs where uh, information and capacity is usually imparted to males, it might not necessarily cross gender lines and translate to females as we hope that is the case. 